Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about uh, free-to-play friendly uh, hero pairs, marches, which you can create as a free-to-play player. It's very easy to understand that uh, every single hero in this game is not accessible for free-to-play players, uh, players like me. That's why in order for you guys to understand uh, where to utilize your tokens, which heroes are most free-to-play friendly, that's the idea behind this video. First of all, we need to speak about difference between free-to-play and pay to win heroes such as for example every hero which is only accessible from the strongest lords events such as for example Goresh, uh, Sindrion, uh, the newest one is Tohar and also Theodore right the most accessible heroes which are this one are only gettable from strongest lords and I think in strongest lords only pay to win players will be able to get tokens for these heroes other way is always at the season end the season start whenever there is a wheel of destiny there you have a small luck if you have small chance if you have a high luck that you're gonna get those pay to win heroes but it's really hard you need to be super lucky like for example myself i got super lucky from this wheel of destiny and i got Sindrion. and last season i got to goresh other than that i don't have any other strongest lord heroes and generally that's the indicator that uh, strongest lord heroes are only for pay to win players other heroes which you can get from the gold keys which you can get from the lucky spins are more free to play friendly heroes because you can generally strategize yourself uh, in order to get the hero you want even if it's only gettable from lucky spins or generally get gettable from the gold keys right now i will mention every single hero like legion type in the game and i will speak about most free to play friendly hero pairs which you can build around your team right uh, as always we need to understand that for a free to play players so you need to one you need to have one main legion type like for example mages marksmen maybe infantry and maybe cavalry and you should be investing your tokens or your gems only on the one a legion type because at the end of the day you will at least have one or two uh, good legions to fight against strong enemies first one will be marksman uh, marksman has been my favorite uh, legion type in the game since the day one and I, I do have a lot of expertise in marksman strategies first of all i think the best hero pair free to play friendly hero pair for marksman is nico and kinara it's pretty easy to understand why nico is gettable from the gold keys and i really like nico's play kit i understand that engineering talent and engineering skill ruins uh, the perfect synergies with nico but let's at the moment forget about this skill and try to understand how unique and how great nico and kinara's hero pair is First of all, uh, Nikos and Kinara's hero pair is on like mainly uh, built around the skill damage factor, physical skill damage factor skill, which is reducting enemy's defense. Uh, on Kinara's uh, awakening skill, you have defense break uh, like 20% uh, for three seconds. And if you will somehow awaken Nico also, you have 80% chance to deal damage whenever there is a defense break applied so purely synergies both of them has higher high counter attack damage uh, on its skill and in general like if you like if you are a free to play player you can get kinara from the lucky spins if you will just invest like 10000 gems that will be enough for you to ha have unlocked kinara uh, the main reason why I think that Nico and Kinara is the best marksman free to play friendly hero pair is that other choices are quite bad. For example, right, for uh, Freigar, Freigar is another free to play friendly marksman, but in order to utilize Freigar in a most perfect way, you need to have Sindrion. Sindrion is not free to play friendly hero. Uh, you, you have to be really, really lucky to get Sindrion from the Wheel of Destiny. Other than that, only from the strongest lord which is only for pay to win players regarding other heroes well i would not suggest to run when win if you are already in a late game and you have played a couple of seasons call of dragons 
Queen Ring won't be a suitable option for you. Uh, that's the only uh, only choices in my opinion choice for a free to play player if you are marksman to play Nico and to play Kinara. It has an amazing uh, synergy from the defense break. All the skills are quite good. Uh, like uh, almost every single fighting artifact, which is for marksmen, will be suitable for this hero pair. Of course, Rattle Spear would be amazing choice, but yeah, Rattle Spear is pay to win artifact. That's why I mentioned Shadow Blades. Uh, Shadow Blades can be amazing on this hero pair, and I think any artifact which is going to deal a damage which has a attacking stats attributes will be totally fine for Nico and Kinara. That's the legion I'm running so far. I have invested every single uh, legendary tokens for my Kinara. And finally, I have at least one legendary hero awakened. And I'm really, really happy about investment on Kinara. That's all about marksmen. I think there is only one uh, free-to-play friendly hero pair, which is Nico and Kinara. And that's fact for me. Now let's turn our attention to mages. Um, of course, we have some uh, great mage heroes uh, in mage section, um, uh, mostly pay to win. Of course, uh, Lilia is pay to win hero. I, I understand you can unlock uh, Lilia for one dollar, but in order for you to utilize Lilia's true potential, you need to have Lilia awakened. That's why uh, not a single Lilia will be mentioned in my speech for a free to play player players uh, hero pairs i think one of the most important free to play friendly hero pair for mages are still wilder and welling that's the hero pair i'm using currently um, i understand that using epic hero uh, with the season t1 it's kind of awkward but Walder is totally fine especially it's really really easy to awaken Walder, and the skills of the your hero pair will be dealing damage to three nearby legions i understand the main skill of Walder is has only 700 damage factor which is quite low but um, dealing damage to three nearby legions is um, an amazing uh, awakening skill uh, and yeah, that's the main reason why I have been running uh, Walder and Welling, one of the most free-to-play friendly uh, marches currently in the game. Let's say we want to change uh, Walder with any legendary hero. Well, I guess if you somehow got uh, Bertrand, Bertrand and uh, like Thea can be amazing hero pair for mages, especially for uh, Celestials, but that's more of for the flying units. Right now we are speaking purely about land mage hero pairs, and I think simply because Lilia is not free to play friendly, uh, Tohar is not free to play friendly, um, Alwyn is more of a debuffer, not the priority in my opinion. I think Walder and Welen is still the number one priority, the easiest one to get. Especially if you have already awakened Walder and you are using all of your legendary tokens to awaken Welling, you already have one great legion, uh, like hero pairs, which both of the heroes have awakened skills, uh, and you did not waste too much gems or too much uh, like tokens to do that, because you can get Welling from the gold keys, you can put Welling on a VIP shop, and the um, uh, epic hero awakening is really, really easy in the game. Another reason why Walder and Welin is so easy to make because you can actually use like many different artifacts for like for example Phoenix Eye is one of the most accessible free to play assault artifact which I'm currently running you can always run tier of Arbon maybe you want to be more defensive and you want to have more heals of course they like better choices for pay to win artifacts like uh, infernal flame is better in terms of damage but infernal flame needs to have Lilia that's why I think uh, Phoenix Eye is the best choice for Walder and Welin hero pair and in general uh, I think that's the most uh, low cost uh, uh, hero pair in the game currently uh, that's it for mages in my opinion i think uh, i covered every single detail about free to play friendly mage legions now it's time to think about infantry which has been a revolution in this season a lot of players started playing infantry because of the introduction of Goresh and Skolgul. Unfortunately for the free-to-play players, it's really really hard to get Goresh uh, because it's only accessible from the strongest lords or Wheel of Destiny and everybody knows for a zero spenders, Wheel of Destiny, uh, you need to be super lucky to get the hero you want, right? Uh, somehow I got lucky I got Goresh, but I won't gonna mention Goresh and Skolgul for this video because we are speaking about 
the best free-to-play marches legions in the game for every single legion type. In my opinion, best free-to-play accessible hero pair for infantry would be Madeline and Garwood. Simply, like there is two choices and one choice is Madeline and Garwood. Uh, if you are infantry player, you already have Madeline. It's really easy to unlock her because she have been in many lucky spins and like a couple of thousand gems will be enough to um, unlock Madeline and if you invest your legendary tokens you will have her skills to the 5 level and she has one of the best skills in general in the game which is Legion Capacity Bonus What does Madeline and Garwood do? Well it's all about staying alive uh, Gar Madeline will deal its own damage which has a pretty high damage and Garwood will be all about staying alive Healing as much as possible. This Legion capacity skill will add to the Garwood tankiness, which means your Legion will be super tanky if we are not comparing it to the tier 5 players. Let's see one of the best uh, free to play friendly marches for infantry. And as I have mentioned, there is two styles, right? The Garwood and Madeline is more of a tanky, tanky style of infantry. And another one would be uh, Skolgul and Nika. Why I'm speaking about Skolgul, right? Skolgul can be gettable from the lucky spins, which means if you just want to have more infantry legions, you will be able to get Skolgul in a matter of time. Nika, Nika can be gotten from the uh, gold keys like as a uh, solo solo hero it's not that impressive but Skolgul and Nika it's all about mobility both of the like the Skolgul tree of the mobility will be the important aspect for this hero pair which basically will mean that you will be moving around like a cavalry uh, with your um, Skolgul and Nika hero pair also as I remember Nika has some march speed bonus 10% which will accelerate your movement uh, your march speed in general that's a second style which can be uh, free to play friendly style because you should not you won't be able you did not want to uh invest of like your legendary tokens on two heroes right you can gonna get uh, tokens from the gold keys for nika you're gonna unlock skull from the lucky spin and you're gonna choose vip per day token for skull and slowly you are going to build your legion there's the two styles which are well, quite good for free to play players in my opinion Madeline and uh, Garwood is mainly tanky counter-attack damage and Skolgul and Nika is mainly about uh, being as fast as possible to run, uh, run around the battlefield like a cavalry. Well, I have already mentioned cavalry and now it's time for me to speak about cavalry uh, hero pairs, which honestly, if you are tier 4 player, you don't like to play as a cavalry because you are getting destroyed in almost every single aspect of the game. Of course, tier 5 is a different uh, topic, but for tier 4s and the free to play players, cavalry, uh, in lunit type in general, kinda bad. But still, we have to speak about them. I think still from the day one, Emrish and Bakshi is the number one uh, free-to-play friendly uh, hero pair for cavalry players. We need to absolutely mention that both of the heroes can be get uh, from the gold keys, which makes this hero pair even more free-to-play friendly in my opinion. The main idea behind Emrys and Bakshi is to accumulate rage as fast as possible because both of the heroes has a rage accumulation speed bonus like 40% on Emrys and also Bakshi has 30% which means you're gonna accumulate rage way way faster than any other hero pairs and you're gonna deal skill damage to the target quite good hero pair and like depending on your own gameplay you might put Bakshi as a primary and Emery as a secondary or vice versa depending whichever you want but in general uh, that's the hero pair you want to have um, like awakened as fast as possible as a free to play player if you are playing uh, cavalry I understand after the introduction of Forondil uh, we thought that it would change but I think Forondil and Theodore is the different kind of hero pair uh, which is uh, great for tier 5 players and I think in general that's my personal view that Theodore is the best uh, cavalry hero in the game. I just simply love the 30% HP reduction and the awakening skill which gonna uh, like take less 25 normal attack. It, it, it just makes this legion too strong and you are dealing huge damage because of this 30% uh, but 
Theodore is only accessible for pay to win players, that's why we are not speaking much about this cavalry hero. We are speaking about mainly uh, regarding free to play uh, friendly hero pairs, which is, I, I think, 100% Emerys and Bakshi. In terms of artifacts, there is a variety of artifacts which you can use on your Emerys and Bakshi. Of course, the best one is Spring Blades. Uh, that's the artifact you can, which is number one, the best one, but it's gettable. It's more pay to win friendly artifact. More free to play friendly artifact is, of course, Kingslayer. Uh, if you don't don't have Kingslayer, then it's Sorlan's Blade, but uh, another one, more utility type of artifact is uh, Storm Arrows, which is giving us the ability to blink uh, through the terrain, through the rivers, through the mountains, so depends on your gameplay, right? Uh, that's all about Cavalry. I, th I hope Cavalry Heroes and Cavalry Playstyle will have some more love, but not too much because they will be destroying ranged units uh, if they are become really really strong in the future. The last uh, Legion type which is left is of course uh, flying units and whenever we are speaking about flying heroes we need to mention every single faction because every single faction has different special units. Uh, for example, Spring Wardens has Forest Eagles. It's really easy to understand what would be the best hero pair, of, in my opinion. Um, for on the land, Thea is the best hero pair for Forest Eagles. Uh, both of the heroes are flying. Uh, for on the will give a lot of buffs, a lot of uh like uh, skill damage uh, like in general whenever you are playing for until you have a chance to pick you want to run from the as a primary or secondary both of the uh, choices have different kind of skills uh, which can i apply to your legion in general uh, thea thea have been the best flying uh, hero in general in, in any aspects of the game uh, shields some buffs a uh, lot of buffs actually and a lot of healing uh, if we are speaking about Celestials and you are playing League of Order, uh, best free-to-play friendly March uh, is, of course, uh, Atheus and Thea. Uh, that's the best one. If you somehow got uh, Bertrand from the Lucky Spins, then I think you are changing Atheus with Bertrand and you are running Bertrand with Thea. Maybe you don't want to run Thea with your Celestials, you are running Bertrand with Celest with the, the Atheus. So, couple of choices, but it's everything is rolled around the Thea, Atheus, and Bertrand. Whichever you have, you're gonna make a great hero pair, which will be free to play friendly. Uh, let's say you are running with the Wilderberg, like me, and you are playing with the Wyverns, which are marksman flying units. Then I think you are running with Craig and Thea. Craig will be the primary for the marksman talent tree. Thea will be giving you a lot of buffs, um, like. Uh, buffing your normal attacks, your skill damage, and Craig is trying its best to deal as much damage as possible. That's the only free-to-play friendly hero pairs, in my opinion, for flying units. Um, I think it's really important for free-to-play players to understand which kind of heroes are more uh, free-to-play friendly than the other ones, because, yeah, everybody wants to have every single hero awakened, but you need to understand how much resources, how much gems and how much tokens you are going to have in this game and then decide which direction you are going. Uh, so far I have played this game for more than one year and like a couple of days ago I awakened my first legendary hero and it took me my, my every single uh, legendary token to do this. So now you can understand how much time you need to actually awaken legendary hero by just playing the game organically, not spending a single dollar. I hope this uh, video will be helpful for the free-to-play players and you guys will make uh, better decisions to uh, have more fun in this game. That's the main idea behind everything, right? Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more, more motivation to make more content for this game. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you guys will have an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. I'm gonna see you very very soon, bye bye and good luck.